looking at there? Oh, what do they have oh. here? <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, my God. It's a feeding oh frenzy. Oh, my gosh. What a situation. Yeah. Let's get a That's show. That's why we've <laughs> seen so Let's many. Let's get a show <gasps> distance so we don't. Oh, oh my god, is it a dolphin? What are they or eating? <gasps> it's hard to or tell a, yet. A swordfish? What is that? Oh, oh my, my gosh. <laughs> this is well, so sure. rare I to like be able to fun. see something like this. Oh my eight, gosh. Eight if I get too much closer, do you think I'll scare them away? Or Let's get a little bit of um, this before we do. Let's so. start from a so. distance, yeah, yeah, and then just we can slowly yeah. maybe approach. Wow, they've actually, I mean, they're making pretty quick work of that, too. Like, this must be pretty new. Some of their bellies look very engorged. All right, lasers are on. I can turn them off to get better video here. That's good. Good lasers. Copy. Yeah, so um, we've just happen, happened to find this really rare sight of being able to see these sharks um, consuming this already dead, what looks like swordfish. And this is a really good example of how um, carbon from the surface or the midwater is transferred down into the benthos and consumed by other organisms. Um, so this is really seeing this whole cycle of um, carbon transfer in action, Can we get which lasers on the yield? Yeah, I is. don't think we've ever seen this before. Um, I yeah. definitely have not. No, not not live. I mean, I've seen the the Blue Planet video yeah, yeah. of it, but it was kind of a staged thing, and this is not at all. You know, we're getting uh, close to the end of our dive, and to be able to observe this. Um, you know, these animals in their natural habitat feeding is pretty remarkable. It's also really interesting because earlier in the dive, we saw something that we thought was maybe a swordfish or a billfish yeah. bill. And yeah. now yeah. this is almost, this is more evidence that that might have Two. been that and that the, these types the of like fish are um, up side. in the water column Look and really this. supporting oh, yeah, life down that. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, this is also a great opportunity. You can kind of see the, the pecking order. So right now these uh, dog sharks are the ones that are tearing the swordfish apart. Oh my but God. we're getting, um, as you can see, some of the other animals are lurking around where you're getting some of the eels that are waiting their turn, basically. And, I mean... There's, you were watching how quickly they're able to, they are biting in and really ripping um, some of the tissue off of this freshly dead swordfish. And I mean, I, again, like this is just lucky that we were able to find it while there's still, um, still tissue to be eaten and consumed. Likely by, in not long of a time, this will be just skeleton. Oh, yeah. My head a little more just started. And we're watching kind of, I think, some of the zoom first stages cereals. of this with these sharks coming yeah, in. And like Amy said, the the eels are kind of waiting their turn. And after that, you'll have the yeah. real scavengers it's coming in there. with and isopods and other smaller organisms that will really just, we just take uh, every tiny bit of carbon that's left on that skeleton left line um, out of the and shot. put it back into the food chain. I think, that's I think we have lost our PG rating. <laughs> Yeah, so if you think about the order in which these organisms time. feed, right, these would be the apex predators, the, the kind of uh, top tier. And then as we go, you know, go downward through the, the line of the, and they all have their part, that's it, is that, you know, the, these guys are getting in there, they have the jaws, they can actually tear this, the wrong. fish open. Yep. Whereas then you get the smaller yeah, organisms yeah, that come so in and, and sort of do the cleanup, and then the ones that'll finally okay. kind of break down the remaining part of the skeleton. Oh, and first. so, from a teeth, you know, I'm a geologist, <laughs> and this is so so exciting and interesting to see because having the opportunity to just watch oh. this um, 
in action and, and the whole started to food away from the web, entry. you know, going on right here in front of us is amazing. Right, and we've seen these sharks swimming around this area today, but this lights. is indication that they are this kind of opportunistic scavenger, so likely they're going to feed um, to be too on far this away for your lights. swordfish, and then they might not need to feed for um, some okay. amount of time. Oh, yeah, you can see the crabs. The crab. Yeah, there's a crab down. He already has a piece of something that he's... Uh, I think both of these crabs. All the way up in the row, lower right. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, come out, roll on. There's a second crab further right. Yeah, right there. Dark. Yeah. Let's get a tight shot of Sirius when I can. And I would love for our pilots and other, um, our video engineers, if you guys want to weigh in, if you've ever seen this as well. Amy and I are two people in the room, but I don't think many people in our that are on board today have seen this type of uh, oh, what does action. Oh, it have? I think that's the job I don't know what that is. Possibly. It's very sparkly. I think that's... I don't know what that is. No, maybe not. But he is going to... He's already eating it as he's walking away. Mm -hmm. Pushing tight on Sirius. Let the crap go. It's a nice uh, aerial view looking down from Sirius. So how big do we estimate the sharks are? They're only... They're relatively small yeah. for, um, for sharks. So I think... Yeah, maybe we just had, a couple feet. Yeah, here we go. We have oh, okay. 10 centimeters on them, so... Oh, okay. So maybe... A meter, a meter and a half. Yeah. Take more zoom. Looking for the teeth. Yeah. That's a good chunk of meat right there. Ever seen a dogfish? Teeth We've also the um, <laughs> so all of these sharks are attracted attracted to this billfish, and all of our team is attracted to the control room right now. I think we have more people in here <laughs> maybe than we've had um, during this whole trip. So this is this is truly exciting for all of us. Which just reiterates the, the, how rare this yes. really is to be able to witness right. this type of event. And we don't know, we are, we are not aware of how this fish died um, to make it down to the seafloor. But again, this is just an example of when that does happen, how quickly all of that carbon is transferred back into this carbon loop. Keep going around. At the head? Yeah, how long that bill Copy. is at the front is how, like, amazing. This is the belly here. It's totally clean. I don't think this is going to be here in 12 hours. Zoom into the dark section of the left. And we, um, we are in relatively close proximity to the Gulf Stream. So it is also, oh, there's one of those isopods. Oh, yeah. Are really oh, small. yeah, oh, there's two of them. them on either side, yeah. yeah. Um, it is, this is a, these billfish do migrate um, Just gonna hold this through a pretty, long. I think they have a pretty large migration area. And so we, this billfish is likely, um, it's not surprising that we would see one around the Gulf Stream like this as they use that as a vector um, to to do their migration. Wow. Can we tilt up on Sirius? Yep. Toward it. But yeah, that really is, you know, switching back over to the serious view is Sorry, Rowan, pretty amazing Let's, to uh, see this. Up to the head. Uh, haven't seen the sword yet. Copy. Sword. Overhead shot. It's like he's full right. and, he's and to get to um, get good footage of this shark behavior mm -hmm. is something that is very rarely documented. Wow, that bill. 
Mm -hmm. And that, as you can see, all of these other predator or you know scavengers that are coming in, um, you know, this billfish, you know, every bit is going to get consumed. Yeah. Probably the closest shot you'll ever get with one of these oh, guys. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I wonder if that's one of the that fish I did eat. See the little one? Uh, he, yeah. He's yeah. got something in his mouth and picking up other pieces. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's a buffet here. Care to get it? I don't know. Sharks are cooler, I guess. Come in, partial. Zoom at Will. How you doing, Bob? You get a little brighter light, real quick. Oh, maybe not. Wow, you can see just how dense you the ready? tissue is mm -hmm. in these, or the muscle. Give me a these little brighter, fish. real quick video. And we see the sharks really going for that. Um, nutrient-rich flesh inside, but mm -hmm. and little bits of skin that are scattered on the seafloor that have been ripped off, but all of that will be scavenged by these um, by these other levels of, of animals. So those crabs and isopods will eat every bit of that. Um, none of that will be have time to go to waste. No, no, not at all. All right, Bob, I might try to do a pirouette to get my turn out. Oh, going in. Oh, going right to the eyeballs. <laughs> Uh-oh, that shark cut himself on a bone. Oh, it did. Oh, wow, yeah. Wow, look at them all. Oh, no, I guess he just, he didn't cut himself. That's the, the like, vent behind his eye. He just got something in there. <laughs> wow. They just don't stop eating. Uh, it might be, like, another set. Yeah. You know, like, they can smell for miles. So someone else, they all caught wind, head this way. Load up. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we Got might be getting, you know, different right groups now. coming in it. from distances as we're sort of getting some oh. of this cycle. Ooh, big grouper. You want some of the attention? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at how big he is yeah. compared to that shark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared of you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Let the grouper go. Hey, do you want to zoom in a little more? Let's see if I can do anything with swing arms. <laughs> Careful of the lower ones, you might hit a, sh hit a shark with them. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they're all over you, too. Cause Helping, throwing a little light out there. I think so. They basically have serrated teeth, right? And then they just wiggle. Oh, the, the grouper's them. got a shark. What? Oh. Zoom what? out! Zoom out! Zoom out! Zoom out! Zoom out. Oh I guess that's why he was hanging out. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh! <laughs> the grouper used us as cover. <laughs> so if you just. What? Only heard our yelping, but you missed it. There was a grouper that had been swimming yeah. around it's and also a, hanging out under. The tail. <gasps> Back up. Here, yes, oh right on the. Oh my gosh! That has a whole <laughs> shark in its mouth. 
We were talking and about the shark how earlier they are lunge feeders. <laughs> so again, this is no way. more evidence really of how these systems work. So there's all of these sharks coming to this billfish and then this grouper takes it's that to opportunity <laughs> to ambush one of these sharks um, and oh. is just going to, I believe, consume that whole. Wow. And here's another one waiting. Wow. I guess that explains why he was hanging out. <laughs> and Amy is almost dying next to me of excitement. She's turned <laughs> her mic off, but she is losing it. The grouper's hiding from me. <laughs> So yeah, he's, 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 he's your wing again. constantly trying to like stay under my wing here. There he is. I gotta, I gotta trick him. Oh man, it's even wow. further. In. It just keeps. He just keeps trying to go underneath me. Just wants to enjoy his meal in peace. What if I? Agree? Yeah, he wants to sit there and <laughs> enjoy his meal. Enjoy his meal. He under you, he stops. <laughs> just <laughs> what? And look at the sharks again. That's again now that you left. Wow. Wow. That is outstanding to observe. Talk about, like, yeah, opportunistic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it shows you, I, I mean, and I think it shows you the intelligence of, of some of these animals that we aren't always thinking about how smart Steady. they are. But that grouper, it was hiding underneath us it worked. in order Steady. to surprise that shark. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was kind of wondering why it had yeah. like <laughs> trying to take a bite out right. of the the billfish, and it apparently prefers a live shark. Li yeah, live catch. Wow. How come the shark's not like squirming? Like it's probably still whole in there, uh, <laughs> right? I think it was it, it, when the tail was was exposed okay. more, but I yeah. think the grouper is um, slowly just. Ingesting, ingesting that shark. Wow, that's it's gonna take a little while. Hold this shot. In. Wow. Uh, this this has been great, but that grouper with the shark <laughs> that was just. <laughs> How can we make this better? Come in, video. Oh, okay. <laughs> <with the shark. laughs> yeah. yeah, hold that. Maybe we'll get. Good bite. All right, I'm going to take a left turn out since we're close. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll stay right here. Oh, that's a great shot. Wow, that eel behind in the Sirius cam is really big. Yeah, it is. It's coming in underneath. And yeah. Just to give you guys a little bit of heads up, um, current plan is to stop at about 100 meters. Um, there's a pretty decent current at the surface, I think about two and a quarter, two and a half knots uh, northeast. And, um, but it drops off pretty quick and it's almost negligible at around 400, which is where we are. So as you come up, you're really gonna start to feel that. Um, but there's a, it's a little bit better at 100 meters. So the thought is to hang out there oh. um, and then come in. dive soup hole, work with the AFCON to take out uh, yeah. auto surge and kind of uh, ease into the Last All right, meters. Back out. Sorry, I'm sure I get a good bite. We will definitely have. Uh, we've been recording. We will have video for you <gasps> wow. guys. Whoa, there's the eel. Maybe lasers on. Oh, yeah. Wow. That. Wow. Coming in for a, a look see. So we see a number of the of eels that are um, that live in these little caves, but they generally do not come out and. Definitely not ones of this size. He's going to try and eat it. He's going to come in. He's you know, taking a little <gasps> taste. Ooh. <laughs> the shark He's is take protective. Taking a taste of the tail. Yeah, Didn't let's want see. that. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. I think oh. it's actually time for us to leave bottom, okay. unfortunately. But yep. So we are going to start to make our way yeah, towards stomach. the surface. And leave these guys to uh, enjoy their meal in peace. <laughs>